How's it going my fellow captains? So guys, it's been a long time coming and we could be on the verge of Emirates taking over Etihad to create the world's largest airline. Now Etihad for quite a while now have been trying to convince various cargo companies that their cargo division is still profitable and is still viable, whilst operating just 4 freighters. However, nobody seems to have taken the bait, in the attempt of the airline trying to find some kind of closure from the continuous loss that they've been facing. Now they've lost billions of dollars and one of the reasons for this was the amount of money wasted on Air Berlin and the still unresolved future of Alitalia. But at the moment they're still under huge financial pressure but in terms of the potential takeover, Emirates are only interested in the long haul operations, so says the current business rumours. Or according to other reports, they want to take over the entire airline. But guys take it with a pinch of salt at this moment in time because there are various conflicting reports. Now guys, there is no doubt about it that there is way too much competition in the Gulf and Emirates and Etihad are essentially fighting for the same transit customer with Qatar just a short distance away and there's some serious bad attitude between these airlines. Now any merger would create the world's largest airline by passenger numbers and almost certainly would have big implications for Boeing and Airbus orders. Now also bringing the airlines together would not be easy due to the duplication of routes from the Dubai and the Abu Dhabi bases. Now both of these airlines have competed rigorously to come out on top and taking benefit from their geographical location. But in order to gain the maximum value from the hub model, every single flight needs to be focused at one single location, making transfers easy and routes more viable. Now we know that Emirates has the world's largest fleet of the Airbus A380 and also their fleet of 777s is already far larger than Etihad. But if Emirates are to handle Etihad's operation for certain markets, then it might jeopardise Emirates' success. Now at the end of the day, it's unlikely that both of these airlines would continue separately or they would continue competing. So unfortunately, Etihad's days as an airline are looking seriously numbered. Now at the moment, many of the decision makers are keeping quiet, but the lack of denials and common sense indicates the inevitable that this is likely to happen. Now this is very sad news for an airline and some people may say that it's their own fault due to their constant meddling Air Berlin and Alitalia. Nevertheless guys, I'll keep my eyes on their progress and I hope to get back to you very soon. Now captains, leave your opinions and your thoughts in the comments below, like and subscribe for more aviation videos and I hope to catch you guys in the next one.